We're going to go right into the items that we are going to be needing for the spell. You will need a Ziploc bag, filtered water. Mine is moon charge with clear quartz. Then I will be using a bowl to mix and charge my herbs in, a paper for your petition, a pen to write your petition. Then I am using a charged candle. Um, in a previous video, I showed how I charged my candles. You could use a green one or just a white one with your intent. Palo Santo to cleanse or what you prefer. Herbs, I'm starting with bay leaves, flax seed, pomegranate seeds, orange peels, and then I'm ending off with lemon peels, and I'm going to be charging my entire spell work with clear quartz. Okay, so we are going to do the freezer spell that I have talked about, and I've got a lot of questions about. I'm going to show firsthand um, one way to do it. I did talk about using a bag, but if you wanted to use a bottle, you could use a bottle. Again, it would have to be plastic because um, when water expands, it would break the glass. Um, but I have done one with a bag and I've done one with a water bottle. And for this one, I'm just going to do the bag. I was going to pull out the stops and do my symbols and do this and do that. But this is just going to be a basic um, beginner if you want to do a freezer spell. Again, for me, freezer spells just aren't for getting rid of things. It's how you interpret your work in any aspect of work making. So I have my plastic bag here. This is my bowl that I'm going to set my herbs in and charge. And this is my charged candle that I have for prosperity. This is going to be a freezer spell for prosperity um, and business and success. And the idea behind it, sorry my son's back there, is that you want to combine these energies and bind the ability to attract, the ability to um, bring in abundance. You want to honestly freeze this to you. Like, if you're running a business, this is something that you want to say, you know what, this business is going to thrive, this business is going to attract customers, the customer needs to be here, the customers that are going to repeat, it's going to fill my, um, my bank account for my family, for myself, and for my business to grow. And you're taking this energy and you're going to freeze it to you. Why would you not want that to be completely on you all the time? This is how I'm interpreting my freezer spell. I hope this makes sense. It makes complete sense in my intent and in my head, but sometimes it doesn't come out as great. But I hope that makes complete sense. So, I have my Palo Santo. I'm going to go ahead and get this lit. There it goes, waiting for it to focus. I'm going to get this lit. I'm going to cleanse my space, my bag, my bowl that I am going to charge my items in. And I'm going to go ahead and light this charged candle. Um, if you want to know more about the charged candle, be sure to look up that video on when I did um, charging candles and making my own tea lights. Again, if you don't have this and you have a green candle, use your green candle. If you don't have anything to charge it to, put the money symbol um, on your candle. Put your name on the candle. Put your business on the candle. Um, anything that you can do to bring um, that full intent as well. And we're just gonna, I'm gonna get this to light a little bit more because I want it really, really smoky. All right, and we're gonna put that out and we're just gonna clean our space, clean our items of energies that will not do us any any service here. Cleanse um, for our need of binding prosperity, attraction, abundance to us. I love doing this with the Palo Santo. One, I love the smell and I don't know, I just get something out of when it like fills an item. Um, I'm trying not to, one, burn the bag. But especially with, I know in the in the craft, it's really big on using glass. But in this matter, when we're freezing stuff, we do have to use our plastic. So I definitely want to make sure it is cleansed for our purpose inside and out. As the Palo Santo is engulfing over all of it, making sure not to melt our bag. Because Lord knows I would do that. And we're going to cleanse our space and we're going to cleanse ourselves. I like to go over my hands um, and let the smoke engulf in my hand like that. I go over it and then my whole body and myself like so. So again, um, this one is specifically for business and money growth. 
Um, I have my candle going, cleanse my space, cleanse myself. You could add anything that you want to. Ideally, um, Tiger's Eye would be a good stone to put into this bag, but I don't want to uh, lose any of my Tiger's Eye right now because I love them too much. So I'm going to do clear quartz and again, um, cleanse these. Um, and they're going to charge with my herbs when we get to that. But I'm going to be putting clear quartz into mine and bringing in that prosperity and energy from that. But again, Tiger's Eye is a really, really good one to use. Um, How Light is even a good one. But you see, I wear my Tiger's Eye um, with my hematite, but I'm not ready to get rid of my other Tiger's Eye at the moment. So what we're going to do before we actually get into filling our bag, we're going to go ahead and take our herbs. I'm going to start with my bay leaves here. Bay leaves is one that really brings in your dreams, your hopes, your desires, your fantasies. And we want to bring in that energy of bringing that prosperity. So what I'm going to do, because it is a full leaf, I'm actually going to focus on my intent, focus on my energy, and what I'm needing. And I'm actually going to crumble this up. Constantly just thinking abundance, growth, dreams, desires, aspirations in my business, in my job, in the company that I'm wanting to succeed, and how I want um, all of my desires that I want for my business to be bound to me, to always be pros prosperous for me, and strength and growth. There's, an, I'm going to use one leaf. Um, I don't need a lot for this. But if you want to use like two leaves, three, that's completely fully up to you. So there's our bay leaves. I'm going to go in next with my lemon peel. Lemon peel gets rid of blockages. So of course in business success, whether it be job, whether it be a job that you're working at or a personal business, um, we don't want any blockages. So our lemon peel is going to be here to charge and get rid of those blockages that are preventing us from our business, our success, um, customers not coming to us. We want to get rid of those. So again, don't need a super lot unless you want to have a lot. Our next one we're going to go into is our orange peel. Orange peel is a good success bringer as well. Why is your we're going to use our orange peels to bring in our success to our business, success to us, success to our product for growth. I like my orange peels. And next we're going to go in with our pomegranate seeds for prosperity. I dried these out myself if you ever saw me on social media talking about my pomegranate seeds. Again, we're just going to sprinkle some in for prosperity, wealth, growth. There are other herbs that you can use for money and wealth and growth. These are just ones that I like to use and stuck out to me. And our last one we're going to be using is flaxseed. Flaxseed is really good for any type of money spells. So that's what I'm going to end it with herb-wise. Let's strengthen our prosperity, strengthen our wealth, strengthen our money spell, um, just in general. And now I'm going to take my clear quartz, and this is how you've seen me in other videos, how I've done this. I'm just going to go through here, and I'm going to sit with my herbs. Okay, so this step here you have seen me do before in a previous video with how I charge my herbs. I have all my herbs and my crystals together, and I'm going to sit here and stir it. I'm going to put my intent with the crystals, with the herbs, how I need them to work together, what um, properties I'm needing to pull from them, and I'm envisioning my energy going into this Um from the base of my feet through the ground from when I'm grounded up my legs up my torso up my back up my shoulders down my arms into my fingertips okay and then I'm just gonna sit with it um cup it over with my hands again visiting from the top now coming from the crown of my head down um through my head my ears my neck my shoulders my arms down to my hands fingers and my palms okay 
And it does not matter how long you do this. If you need to be with it five minutes, 10 minutes, 20 minutes, sit with it until you feel like it's right and it's really got that energy that it is needing. All right, we're gonna set this to the side. It is charging with my crystals, with my herbs. I've been with it. We're gonna set this next to our bleh, prosperity candle. And we're gonna go into writing our partition paper. Now your partition paper, um, could be a business card and you can write on the back of it that would be awesome um but i'm just gonna use my partition paper that i have here it's specifically for me i'm going to write my name and i like making it personal so i'm gonna write my birth date wow <laughs> I have also I had too many twos. I have so many twos in my birthday that um I wrote like five twos. And so of course this is prosperity. So I'm gonna put little signs around it that are gonna work for me. Okay. And then I'm gonna write little things, um, little sayings, things that are actually honestly just coming to my head. Um, forever growing business. Always growing new ideas. Abundance. And now with your parchment paper, a lot of people like to write say a paragraph and literally like to write down everything I it just depends on it for me writing my name symbols that relate to the situation and then things that I want to really just draw into me so I'm literally like taking this and saying all these things that I'm wanting um, I literally write me in the middle and all of this is like coming to me all of this is sticking to me like glue freezing to me like it is going to freeze in my life this is um, one of the ways I w there's multiple ways that I write petition papers which that is a coming up video of different ways that I write petition papers there's another way to do a binding one I do that more for people and attraction um, physical with like another person when it comes to things like this, I kind of just go with symbols and the energies that I'm wanting to pull. So that's a whole other video, so we're not going to get too deep into that. And another thing that I like to do after I do this, I like to take these herbs that I've charged and I sprinkle a little bit here. Inside. Still, my thoughts are still going to exactly what I'm needing. I want a little bit of every herb in here. Still saying, feeling the growth of abundance in my business, attraction, attracting the right customers that will benefit from my services, benefit from our connection, and then I will also benefit from them. Because I benefit um, and learn from my own customers, even. So, we're going to fold this towards us because you're wanting this to come to you. It's going to come to you. Then we're going to turn it clockwise. I like to give anything like this as far as I can go. And then I like to give it a little kiss. And I'm going to give it a little bit of heat. I'm not going to light it on fire. I just wanted to have a little bit of heat from the candle, the energy of our fire. Because we're going to have our water, we have our earth, and we have our air from our place. So we're going to get our bag ready. We're going to put this in the bottom of the bag. I'm going to go ahead and put my 
crystals in the bag. And I'm not gonna put all of my herbs in at once. I'm gonna take some, I'm gonna go ahead and sprinkle some in. And so this is what is in my bag so far. Another thing that you could do, I know vinegar is really good for binding. I didn't use vinegar with this one. It just didn't feel right for me. Um, but I know, and when I bounded my kids, I didn't use vinegar because I really wanted, I don't know, it just felt right for that. I didn't really feel like it was good to use it for this one. But if it feels great for you, go ahead and use vinegar for binding. Now, the water I am using is filtered water, but it's also charged water from our last, um, full moon blue moon super moon it was the one in january so yeah this is the water that i am using you don't have to have charged water but as long as it's filtered water it's been really set to intent and energy i've had crystal quartz um in here it's in here i just can't hear it where is it i know i put some in here there it is you can't see it because it keeps it moving but it is in there there are crystal points in there so it's been charging and i keep this tucked away so we're gonna put our water in here that is going to be frozen to our binding. Let's see how graceful I can be with this. It doesn't matter how much, it doesn't matter how little. That's as much as I want to put in there because I don't want to use up water. Which we do have another full moon coming up, so another blue moon coming up. So this is how much I have in my bag right now. And I'm going to go ahead and top it off with the rest of my herbs. So I'm going to get the air out of my bag the best that I can in this one root angle. And as I'm even doing this, I'm still filling my intent of what is going into this. So, as we're here, this is our bag. This is where we now are. And again, I'm going to do another situation of just sitting with my bag. It's here. I'm going to place my hands over it. Putting in the energy, putting in the intent, visioning what this binding is doing for me. What it's doing for my family. The point of doing this. And I'm just going to and, and fill that with it. Okay, so of course, I mean, the paper did come unfolded, but I mean, it's all right. Our intent is in here. Our intent is there. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to let this sit actually with my candle. And it's going to burn all the way down. And then I'm going to put this in the very back of my freezer, never to be looked at, touched, or bothered again. Now, periodically, I will take up my freezer spells and actually recharge them with said crystals that are needed for that intent. Um, sometimes I will even take them out and let them charge by the full moon. It's not that often, though. It is literally probably like once a year um, when I feel like it just needs a recharge. And then I put it back there, and I literally forget that it's even back there. And that's, that's the point. So we're going to set this down and let this continue to um, let the candle burn down with it. And then this is going to go in the back of the freezer. And then our freezer, hell, freezer spell is complete. So I hope this was easy and I hope you guys can grow from it. Maybe add things of your aspects. Like I said, different herbs. Um, if you want to go ahead and add the vinegar um, and other binding elements, go for it. Um, Again, as I've said with my freezer spell, it's what you put into it. I've done one for my kids for togetherness. I've done a family one. I've done this prosperity one. So let me know what you guys think, how it's worked for you, what you've kind of altered for it. And we will talk to you later. Thank you guys so much. Merry part and blessed be. Bye. <laughs>